Good morning, Active Aussie MGTOW here. Wednesday morning, May 1. It's about 8.30 a.m. Very refreshing and beautiful here in the forest. Just a fairly brief video. I have to get some new front tires on my car but I need to go to the bank, so I can't do that until about 9.30 a.m. Just don't have enough cash on me, and my credit card's getting a bit low, so I've just got to hang around for another hour or so. So I thought I'd just come in here and make this video. I want to talk about a few things I've heard recently on the radio and as some of you Aussie blokes out there might realize there were those protests on the weekend in regard to so-called violence against women and domestic violence and on Monday I was listening to a bit of talkback radio and there were quite a few people calling in and one woman called in and she said that she is sick and tired of entitled and privileged white men. And I've talked about this before, I think maybe a year ago or so I made a video in regard to this. I'd like to know how average white men or just average Western men in general are entitled and privileged. I'm an average white Australian male. I certainly don't feel entitled or privileged. I'm certainly not a victim, but I'm not entitled or privileged either. I'd like some of these women to explain how men like myself are entitled and privileged in any sort of fashion. This, um, These terms entitlement and privilege are thrown around quite loosely. And on Monday also I was listening to the radio once again on Monday afternoon and some of you Australian guys, especially here in Brisbane and Queensland, might know that bloke Peter Gleeson or Gleeso on 4BC. And this bloke called into his show, to his program, and he said, Oh, I, I really feel sorry for these poor women with five or six kids, and some of them are ending up homeless and they've got nowhere to live. And I was just thinking nobody forced these gals to have that many kids. Nobody held a gun to their head and said, oh, you have to have five or six kids. So once again, it comes down to that issue of personal responsibility. And I was talking to my mother about this as well, and she agreed, and she said that, um, yeah, it works both ways, like women have to be, have personal responsibility as well. And I remember way back in the late 80s and 90s, down in Logan City, south of here, where I am now, that's always been an area where there have been a lot of single mothers. And I remember my mother used to say, a lot of these gals are just getting pregnant so they can collect the welfare payments. And that sort of thing is still going on obviously but I get sick and tired of hearing how I am privileged I don't feel like I have any sort of privilege I've been quite lucky in some aspects in some regards but that's um, different to being called entitled and privileged this um sort of thing is going on obviously in other western countries as well. I remember a few years back I was watching a video by 
better bachelor and I usually don't listen to or watch the larger channels. I mostly listen to channels with like 500 to about 3,000 subscribers. But occasionally I will watch a video by one of the larger channels. And I remember this day he was browsing through, Better Bachelor was browsing through some dating sites and he came across one and there was this woman and said, I'm a single mother with six kids, what do you have to offer me? And when you scroll down through some of the comments, some of them were um, quite funny. But I've come across this too before you see on various dating sites, women with all these so-called requirements, demands, conditions. And I think I've mentioned that before as well. Anyway, leave a few comments, guys. Tell me what's on your mind. I always appreciate getting your feedback and comments. I'm going to go out west of Brisbane maybe early this afternoon, or it might be tomorrow now. I think I'm going to run out of time, but I'm going to make a video out there. So look out for that one, and I'll talk to you again soon.